I still need a haircut. What is going on? So I was having a little think about some video ideas, and I came up with the idea to do a series. I already have a series called My Top 5, which you guys have probably checked out, and I hope you have, and if you haven't, then go watch it after this video. <laughs> but yeah, I had to think about another series, which is this series that you're watching right now, and I'm going to talk to you a bit about it, just so you guys are a bit clear on what this whole thing is about. So in this series, I'll be recommending three new songs that have come out in the past three weeks, um, that I really like, and I hope you guys will too. And I will also be reacting to three new songs that came out last week. So it's a bit of everything, really. So unfortunately this week I've already heard the songs from last week, so I'm not going to be reacting to them. So instead I'm going to give five recommendations of the last month. If you guys like my music tastes, you'll probably like this series. And if you also like my reactions, you'll also like this series. So I thought it would be a good idea to put them both in one video. I hope you guys enjoy this idea of a series. If you do, just leave a comment down below saying you do or something like that. Just let me know. And yeah, let's just get on with the video. So all these songs that I'm going to recommend now have all come out in the last month and are songs that I'm really enjoying at the moment. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to include any Ed, um, because you guys know that I love every single one of his songs. So it would literally be every single Ed Sheeran song for these five recommendations that I'm going to give you. So there'd be no point. So the first recommendation um, that I so recommend is Stay by Zed. Oh yeah, and it's featuring Alicia Cara. The thing I love about it is all the like the different beats in it and all the different like sounds that they put together to make it sound like a beat. So they put a clock um, in the background to make it sound like a beat and because they're talking about time and clocks and stuff and it all goes well together It's just such a well put together song and I love Alicia Cara's voice. She's just incredible It's also got a really good drop as well. Um, Zed's done a really really good job with it. But yeah, it's that time Let's jam All you have to do is wait a second I hope you guys agree with me that that is a very, very good tune, and oh, it's just, I love, I love all the ticking clock bit as he's using as a beat, and oh, it's great. If you haven't heard that song already, and you did enjoy that, then be sure to check it out, because it's a very, very good tune. Right, so the next one actually came out last week, uh, so it's a really new one, and it's actually remixed by the same people who made the original song, so I think that's what's so good about it, because they knew the song in and out, and they just completely like made it amazing remix. So the next one is called Your Fool and it's the Tyrone Happy and Binded remix. I'm really hoping you guys will like this and I'm actually kind of hoping you guys haven't heard it before. It's really also what I want from this series actually. I want you guys to not have heard some of the songs I'm giving you and then for you to actually really like them and find new songs from me. But yeah, let's get into it. I would be your fool. Now I've listened to it, the thing I really love, and I've just like, not noticed it just now, but I've remembered, is the fact that they've edited the vocals, they've like chopped up the vocals, so the vocals are like a beat instead of actually vocals, and it's, it's just really cool how they've done it, I love it. So yeah, the next one also came out last week, and it is by actually a very famous band and singer, g woman, girl, sing, girl, yeah, woman. Singer. Like the others, the moment I heard this, I loved it. I was expecting it to be good because of the people who did it. And it did live up to my expectations, which is really good. So the next one is Symphony by Clean Bandit and Zara Larson. I really love in this song how every single bit is different. So the first pre-chorus is different to the second and the third. So the second is also different to the third. And it's just, it's just how they've made each bit different. It's, it's really cool. But enough talking about it. Let's jam. I just want to be part of your song. I'm in love with that. I love it so much. After this video, please go listen to it if you haven't heard it yet. It's so good. And I only played the chorus, and I think the pre-choruses are amazing. So you have to go and listen to the whole song after this video. Like, please do it for your sake and mine. 
Right, so the next one I think you guys have all heard, um, and if you haven't, then you've been under a rock. So the next one is something just like this by Coldplay and Chainsmokers. When I heard that they were collabing, I was like, oh my god, what is happening? It's definitely what I expected from them. I've really enjoyed it for this last month, and I hope you guys have too, if you have listened to it. And if you haven't, then you're definitely going to enjoy this chorus that I'm going to play, and then the whole song when you go and listen to it after this video. <laughs> so yeah, let's jam. What a tune! I haven't actually listened to that for about a week now, so that was really fun to go back to. As I said, check it out after this video because you won't regret it if you haven't heard it before. And if you have, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, now we're on to the final one, and I think it came out just over a month ago. But yeah, the next one is It Ain't Me by Kygo and Selena Gomez. A bit like Your Fault, I love how the lyrics have been edited in this song as well. This one's a bit more chill, and it's great to listen to anywhere really. Because you can also dance to this song as well. It's like, a bit chill, but you can also dance. And like any of the others, I obviously recommend you to go and listen to it afterwards if you haven't already. Actually, that's the whole point in the series. I just want to say I have no idea what she's saying in the chorus, so I won't be singing along. Um, apart from when it goes... Still don't know what she's saying, but it's a great tune. I think it is the verse just muddled up and then edited and put together. But yeah, I can't speak edited language, so. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to share it around with your mates and all that kind of stuff. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.